Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Earlier today in my stream, I had a user ask me a question. And the question was, Sebi, when was the last time that you took a tolerance break? And I had to think about it for quite a while because I honestly can't remember the last time that I took a tolerance break. And there's a specific reasoning behind that. So throughout Throughout today's video, I'm going to be discussing as to why I don't take tolerance breaks. So the biggest reason as to why I don't take a tolerance break to begin with is because I honestly don't feel like tolerance breaks work. From my personal experience, there's been times where I've taken one, two, three weeks off from smoking any type of dabs flour, consuming nothing whatsoever, but as soon as I come back, I always get my tolerance back so fast within one to two days, and then that's when I have myself just thinking, I'm just questioning myself, like, was that three to four weeks even worth it, not smoking for all that time, just so you could get your tolerance break back within one to two days? The answer to that was obviously no. It really wasn't worth, you know, going all that time without being to able to enjoy the benefits of the plant, being able to enjoy everything that it comes with. And I was just thinking there has to be another way around this. And then that's when I found out about a tolerance fix. And to be quite honest with you, a tolerance fix for me has been way more beneficial and way more helpful in the long run because it has shown me how to properly consume things. And it's honestly taught me a lot about the plant itself. So what I personally do when it comes to these tolerance fixes is that number one, I'll probably cut down on my consumption by at least 30 to 40 percent. That way I'm not consuming as much as I used to and just by nature my body is just going to get used to only consuming less and less every single day. And that in itself has already lowered my tolerance dramatically. But another thing that I've done to lower my tolerance tolerance even more was probably the biggest change is that I stopped dabbing it for a very very long time. So as most of you know, dabs whether it's hash rosin, live resin, any of those other in that category, they all hold a very very high THC percentage and that can raise your tolerance extremely extremely quick. So what I did was that I switched to strictly only flour, which we all know already holds holds a very low THC percentage, or at least I should say that it holds a lower THC percentage as opposed to other oils. And that wasn't the only thing that I was doing. Another thing that I was doing that was benefiting me so much was the fact that I stopped smoking J's, blunts, all those things that you honestly have to pack with at least two to three G's in order to enjoy it to the fullest extent. Instead, I switched over to a glass piece and that in itself lets me consume a fraction of what I used to be consuming. Some other things that I've been doing as well to help me with this tolerance fix was just prioritizing my seshes. Instead of seshing it all day, every hour, every two to three hours at that, I limited myself to at least two to three sessions per day and spacing them out every four hours. And the reason that I did that was because one thing that I noticed that I used to do a lot was I would literally hit my pen left and right every single hour of the day and little did I know that that's what was literally raising my tolerance so high and not only that but I was never coming back to a normal state. I was always in this baked state of mind. So that means that the next time that I would chief it, I wouldn't even reap and feel the full on benefits of it because I was already partially baked. Another thing that I like to apply to my tolerance fix is doing a little bit of a cycle through. So what that pretty much just means is that for a partial part of the month, I'll only be consuming pens and then the other part of the month, I'll only be consuming maybe flour and then after that the next following month I do only hash rosin for the first month and then 
switch back to cartridges and just keep going through that cycle because one thing that I've noticed personally is that cartridges, rosins, and flour all hit me completely different but if I'm constantly consuming them day in and day out they just you know they just ruin my tolerance and I don't get to feel those benefits that I used to feel in the past so honestly cycling through has been one of the biggest benefits when it comes to these tolerance fixes so if you guys enjoyed today's little video from your boy a savvy G please do me one big favor by number one subscribing to the channel leave a like on this video to help it push the algorithm and we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video